All right, what you're looking at, hopefully, is my future worm cooler. So here's one of my white worm cultures. This is a, an old freezer. Now a freezer just plugged in at freezer temperatures will kill the worms, obviously. There's the door, I've gotta put that back on. This thing is about 40, 50 years old, but I think it still works. So it's been sitting out here a little while. I'm gonna plug it in, make sure it works. And then I'm going to attach a temperature controller to it so I can control the temperature myself, kick it on and off so it's not freezing, but I can hopefully hit that target. They cut the cord off of it. All right, we're a little rigged here, but that's okay. It's making noise. I can feel a vibration. All right, so this tube here on top here is very cold. Before I spend too much time cleaning this old freezer, I'm going to see if I can get it to work how I need it to work. So this is a thermostat temperature controller for an aquarium. You could plug a heater in here, some kind of cooling device in here. Here's a temperature probe. We're going to drill a hole in the side of here, run this in. This will be in there. We'll plug our freezer into here. Therefore, it's going to kick on the freezer, kick the freezer on and off to bring it to temperature. That's how we're going to control it. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it works long term.
here is the plug to plug in the freezer. It's gonna go into here. This is cooling. Okay. Here's the plug to plug into the, my main power. It's actually cooling right now. We're gonna set our set point to 54. We'll go 55 degrees. Set. Alarm high. We're gonna make the alarm high so this thing will beep or something if it gets. We'll just say 62 degrees. Alarm low. You know, we don't want it to be 50. We'll just set it at 45. Can't remember what this was. I have to get the instructions. I'm gonna just hold it and it takes me back out. So alarm high. So we're above the 55. So it's alarming, obviously. So we're 76.9 degrees in there. I think I hear it running, so it should be kicked on. So we're on. I can feel that tube getting cold again. <clears throat> so there's our temperature probe. This is getting cold. You can see a little frost on that pipe already. I'm gonna shut this and we'll see if it'll bring us down the temperature. But we're at 64.6 .6 degrees, our set point's 55, so we are coming down. So I think it was at 78 or 77 when it started. Let's take a look in there. Woo! Look at the ice. That's pretty cool. So this top one's very cool. Coming down, this is cold. So, these aren't really cold down here. I imagine it takes time to work all the way through. So it'll probably just be the top one that gets mostly cold. As long as it kicks off and kicks back on when it needs to, that's all we really care about. Uh, and if it's gonna work a little bit, I'll probably clean it up. Might even paint it. Could paint a big fish or something on there. All right, so it's been 24 hours. I wanted to kind of check on the temperature. Temperature itself's looking great. Uh, the one problem I have noticed is because we're kicking on, kicking off, kicking on, kicking off, and we're not really at freezing, you get all this condensation because there's so much moisture in here not frozen that when this thing kicks on it's ice cold and that condenses a lot of water which then rains down onto the cultures that in itself isn't such a big deal at the moment although I'll probably put some kind of tray in here uh, some kind of tray to catch the water and then maybe a little drain tube because that tray will just fill up fill up with water quickly Here's where we ended up. There's my white worms. Uh, this water condenses and freezes on there while it's running, and then as it turns off and is idle, it thaws and then drips down. So I put this little plastic tray, I zip tied it up. It's at an angle so it drips down into here, into this little cup. So it's not so bad. That'll be okay. It's better than dripping down on the cultures. But I'm super happy with it. The temperature is great. I still have this little cooler where I've got some extra cultures in. 
Now I've just got to clean it up. Might even paint it. But it holds quite a few white worm cultures. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.